Shapiro went on uh, to read uh, aloud the following social media post from Tate Thursday. Dear white man, you're effed. You're being replaced because none of you have children. Even those of you bitching about the replacement online little, like uh, little girls, don't find the... Do, is this a video or is this a post he had? Grumption to F. I see white men bragging about having five kids as if it's an achievement. LOL. Five, uh, uh, LOL, per night, per year, right? Oh, all you white boys lost control of your women, and now they won't accept multiple wives anymore. Now they tell you they don't want any more kids. One's enough. Don't want to do uh, their God-given uh, job anymore. They want Instagram likes. Shapiro said, okay, so again, one true thing. Many false things. One true thing. People need to be having more kids in a Western civilization. The many false things. Marriage is bad. Loyalty to your house, spouse is bad. Society can be built on men running around having sex with 30 women and having 30 kids per year. And this is the true meaning of a man. And young men think of like, wow, that sounds amazing. Man, male seeks to impregnate many females. Okay, that sounds uh, great to a bunch of young men who are jerking off to Andrew Tate's web webcam business. It sounds amazing to them. That's also not how societies are built. Adam. Yeah, fully agree. You white boys need to start having some kids, y'all. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's ridiculous. But, uh, of course, I kid because I'm still working on having kids. But, uh, look, these are healthy conversations that need to be had because both of these guys, I think, are beasts in their field. We're big fans of Tate. Do we agree with everything Tate says? No, I don't agree with anything everybody Adam, says. Adam, do you? What? You say we as if yeah. you speak on everybody. Just say I. What? Do I. What I'm saying is when you say we, okay, I'm we are we, meaning just I, independently talk because you may, Rob is sitting over there, maybe right, doesn't agree. Bad, Rob, Rob doesn't say, watch videos. Yes, the, go ahead. Make your the, point. The collective we. Yes. Me, it's the my, royal Me, we. myself, and For I. For sure. We've had okay. Tate multiple times. We've yes. had some of the greatest conversations yes. ever, and I think he's a very necessary voice, and I think he's going through an evolution himself at a different phase of Fully his life. Fully agree. But continue. I've, and, and that's yeah. my next point, is that you're using some of the tactics and some of the things that, that Tate did, you know, five, ten plus years ago against him now. That's not fair. Ben. Um, Ben's sort of reeling a little bit. Daily Wire has taken a hit since Candace. Ben is his shine and exactly what it used to be. And he's going to have to sort of reinvent himself. He's going to have to basically inform people where he stands. But here's how I would differentiate between Tate and Ben. One is completely logical and one uses logic and emotion. The way that Tate speaks has the ability to motivate people and get people on his side. And that's respect about Tate. Ben, I don't know how he's going to reinvent himself, but he needs to do it. Well, his voice, I don't know if I, for the past six months, his voice has gotten annoying to where when he talks, my right eye gets smaller. It's like, you know why? Because like you said, he's just sticking on one topic. He's going all in. People, he's showing his true colors. And, you know, people what, are what do you have a problem with what Ben is saying here? With ben, I just, I just, I, because what, this specific topic here, what problem do you have with what he's saying here? I, because any, anybody that's judging anybody for being who they are, and like you said, Tate's evolving and doing his thing and going in the, and like he's bringing up his past as if he knows who he is as a person. Have you, has he ever sat down with him and, and spoken to him? I don't him? think no, he doesn't. Not. Tom, we have. What are your thoughts on this? Um, look, I, I agree with the notion that. Um, Andrew Tate speaks very powerfully, very clearly, and he ins inspires emotion out of it. And I think that um, Ben, you know, I, I respect Ben for his, you know, for what he's accomplished and everything, but he's coming across in this very shrill and very reactive and very angry. And it's, you know, it's not, do I agree or disagree with the points? I just don't think he's doing a good job getting the points across. And I think he's coming off very angry and reactive and it, it doesn't cause people to kind of be drawn in to listen to what you have to say. Yeah. So, so think about uh, the Tate of five years ago or four years ago, mm -hmm. right? He's going viral. You do this, you do that, and girls are this and girls are that. And those clips would go off, right? Because he was saying what may, men, maybe many men who had been hurt before or betrayed before by a girl, which is most men, and he was speaking on their behalf, mm -hmm. okay? And as a man, when that happens to you publicly, you don't want to talk about it because it's embarrassing. And it's happened to all of us when you kind of go through, you're like, well, no, that would never, a girl would never do this to me. And even Tay talked about one time how a girl kind of uh, hurt him and that was a big impact that it had on him. And, you know, he had his own way of dealing with that. But uh, uh, the, the Tate of today with the life he's living and now being a Muslim himself, he's making the argument of, he said something about Christian men. He says, it's about time you get angry. Did you see that video, Rob? Can you pull this up that Tate had? I think he had it yesterday on Twitter, if you can pull this up. Um, 
He's like, finally, I'm seeing you guys getting yeah, upset and yeah. getting if mad. You can, if you can play, uh, 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 there, it's a video, I think. It's keep not even down. a, keep going a little lower. He's uh, sitting outside. He's sitting outside. Of no, the that's not it. Keep, keep going. going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Man, he posts a lot of stuff. Keep going, keep going. Uh, maybe we're not going to get to it. Anyways, it's a video that he says, you know, uh, about time you guys get upset, about time you guys do something about it, about time you guys get vocal, about time you guys say, and he's right. You know, the Christian mm-hmm. community has historically been very tolerant, and they kind of sit on the sidelines and don't say anything, just kind of take it. And he's saying Muslims won't. You know, Muslims will voice their opinion, and they're going to be more direct about it than you Christian tolerant men will be. And, you know, th- that's the argument that he's making. Now, on the side that Ben is saying with family and all this stuff, I mean, look, guys, uh, Ben is raising kids uh, in, in a fam- family societal environment where he's teaching them. Is this it? I think this is it. Is this, this I think this so. One? Yeah, play it. Play can it. You, can you play this clip, Rob? Oh. I think this is it. Great. Not working. Yeah. But that is it. Mm-hmm. That is the one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Try it one is. more time. Angry. I don't know why it's taking you so long. Christian men. Even as a Muslim, even as somebody who's recently reverted, it gives me genuine happiness to see the Christians finally angry about something. You have gay preachers, LGBT drag story hours at your fucking churches. You sit around and turn the other cheek. You have no cheeks left, left. to turn. <laughs> There's nothing in this world without masculine rage. It's the bottom line of everything. There's no country without men who are prepared to get angry and defend it. There's no idea. Yeah. There's no house. There's no religion without masculine rage. They've bred it out of you. And for the first time in a long time, we see Christians finally angry about something. The reason your religion is failing is because this whole bullshit of tolerance and sitting around turning the other cheek Shall is I making lie. you globally mocked. You're mm. seen as weak. And when I see Christians mad for the first time in a long time, although I'm no longer Christian, it makes me feel happy. This is exactly what the world needs. There has to be a line where you say, no, we will not accept. That's how we ended up in this position in the first place, accepting everything. You can pause it. It's not- I mean, he's, listen, he's, say what you want. Oh. You don't like him. He did that. He's right. Yeah, by the way, but you have to realize this, man. Ben Shapiro grew up in a very different upbringing than this guy. Yes. So, so, so to so to get uh, uh, Ben to understand Tate or Tate to understand Ben are two different things. You know, kind of like what uh, uh, Shook was talking about yesterday, where he's like, "Dude, who taught him those habits? Mm-hmm. Who taught so some so your those things come from your surroundings. If you become a gangster." And at a young age, you run a gang and you run all these other gangsters. You're going to be wired in a different way. For sure. If you're a guy that grew up in a healthy, peaceful environment like a Ben Shapiro yeah. and you're raised where you're going to school and at a young age, you want to be the Supreme Court one day and you want and you play yeah. the piano, you play yeah, the violin, violin never in fought. front of thousands yeah. of people. Yeah. But but it's but it, but they are very they're very similar and very different at the same time. Yeah, yeah. the passion is, is there. very, yeah. very similar and very different at the same Look, time. I love what he said about tolerance because you've said you spoke about this many times. You said there's four virtues yeah. that your family uh, you pray for the way that you the way you lead your kids, and yep. one one virtue that you've eliminated, which is tolerance, because you've said this before. Christians become a little too tolerant. Yep. Yeah, LGBT. Okay, cool. It's all good. Yeah, now we can have trans preachers. It's okay. No. Yeah, you know, uh, credit to Islam, credit to Judaism. We don't really play that game. Like we kind of have some, especially Islam. They kind of have some things that they don't equivocate on, and they still tolerant on. What I'll say with the evolution of Tate. And the evolution of Ben, who do you think has had to evolve more? I would argue that Tate had to evolve much more. The only difference between Ben, but when he was 20, by the time he's 40, is kids. He was raised in a Jewish Orthodox household. He's worked on himself. He's worked on his business. The only major difference that I can tell perception-wise, in my opinion, is having kids. And of course, when you have kids, you evolve. Tate had to wildly evolve. From being an American to moving to um, London to basically moving to Romania, kickboxing, doing all this, starting a business. He was oh, a, yeah. a, a, from the from the webcam business to everything he's doing now. He's had to evolve massively. So the scale at which he's had to evolve is nowhere near what Ben That's had to point. do. But when he come, I, some one thing that they de- definitely agreed upon is the decline in traditional values, especially in the West, especially with women, the traditional women, the trad life women. 
where are they now? Now there's baby mama culture, there's hookup culture, there's OnlyFans, there's sex workers. You can make money just sitting at your house. The single mother epidemic is c crazy. You've talked about the stats with that. America leading the world in single mothers, not, especially the black community, the Hispanic community, even the white community, popped off without crazy. 75% of, of black Americans born to single mothers, crazy stats. But men, a little bit different. They talk about this all the time. Men are a little bit different. Men can take a little while longer to evolve. Vinny and I can still have kids at any point we want right now. I challenge a 45-year-old woman to have a kid today. It's going to be pretty tough. But men need to take longer. They need to make money. They need to make friends and make a net network. When women, you need to start making some babies. 45-year-old can still have a kid, but it's going to be tougher. It's can, can, they can still have a kid, but it's going to be tough. But I get it. I get what you're saying. So all right, I can so no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard says she is no longer a Democrat. A potential Tulsi Gabbard VP. Where we are being told that we just have to comply and go along with whatever they say. American people uh, are smarter than this. However, we must remain vigilant to recognize their propaganda for what it is, pure lie. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Whatever they say goes, and we, we have to just fall. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. Taking on Kamala Harris on a debate stage before, I would look forward to doing that again. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.